Hello friends, welcome to Mechanical Engineering Online Classes. Today's lecture will be delivered by Miss Shravanti Sri Ramoju. Now let us uh, derive an equation for natural frequency of free torsional vibrations. Here we are considering a uniform shaft of negligible mass. The one which is indicated in grey color is the shaft which is having negligible mass and uh, this is uh, rigidly fixed at one end that is here it is fixed at one end and at the other end there is a uh, disc which is placed uh, and uh, this disc is having a mass equal to small m now let us look at the different terms let us assume that capital I is the mass moment of inertia of disc mass moment of inertia of disc in kg meter square and the formula for which is m into k square where k is the radius of gyration and m is the mass of the disc in kg capital kt it is the torsional stiffness of the shaft and theta is the angular displacement of shaft from its mean position in radians so here we are assuming that the uh, disc is rotating in this direction and because of this rotation the shaft will be subjected to some twisting that uh, twisting will be resisted by the shaft so that resistance will depend on the value of torsional stiffness of the shaft so we, again uh, if we look at the uh, diagram of the disc from top this is the top view of disc Initially the point A was here but because of the rotation of the disc A has moved to A dash. So at any instant the angle between uh, O A dash and O A will be theta and theta is given in radians. Now because the disc is rotating in uh, clockwise direction from top U this is nothing but the torque which is uh, i into alpha so i into alpha alpha can be uh, written as double differentiation of theta hence we have represented alpha as theta double dot so this is the torque that is uh, existing on the circular disc now because of this rotation uh, shaft will try to uh, resist uh, the rotation of the disc so that will be in the opposite direction to that of the rotation of the disc so that is given here which is kt into theta it is similar to the force the resisting force of the spring mass system which is k into x k where k is the stiffness of the spring and x is the displacement of the mass so it is, this formula is similar to that kt is the torsional stiffness of the shaft and theta is the displacement so it is uh, the resisting torque the resisting torque given by the shaft is kt into theta so the accelerating torque accelerating torque is given as i alpha alpha can be replaced as double differentiation of theta with respect to time and the accelerating torque can be written as i into theta double dot so this is in clockwise direction there is a resisting torque or you can also call it as restoring torque restoring torque it is given as kt into theta and this is in counter clockwise direction now from uh, newton's second law of motion accelerating torque should be equal to restoring torque so i can write accelerating torque as i theta double dot and in this equation i will try to assume a sign convention clockwise rotations are taken as positive and counter clockwise rotations are taken as negative so i theta double dot is in clockwise direction so i have put positive sign so this should be equal to the restoring torque which is kt into theta but with a negative sign because this is in the reverse direction 
now i can rearrange the terms i theta double dot plus kt into theta is equal to 0 or i can write it as theta double dot plus kt by i into theta is equal to 0 now if i uh, compare this equation with uh, the fundamental equation of simple harmonic motion which is nothing but x double dot plus omega square into x is equal to 0. So this equation which we obtained here is analogous to the fundamental equation of SHM. So here theta double dot is nothing but x double dot where theta is the displacement and here x is also the displacement. So theta is displacement here in uh, uh, this is the angular displacement but with this is linear displacement and the coefficient of this display displacement here is kt by i so it is nothing but omega square from the fundamental equation of shm so omega square is nothing but kt by i or i can write omega as root kt by i this is in radians per second. So this is uh, the free vibration. So whatever I get uh, angular speed here will be natural angular speed. So I will represent with uh, this with omega n. So corresponding frequency can be obtained by fn is equal to this is the natural frequency. Natural frequency. And the formula we know that natural frequency or frequency is equal to angular speed by 2 pi so the angular speed here is the natural angular speed so natural frequency will be omega by 2 pi so if I substitute omega n value I will get the natural frequency value as fn is equal to omega is root kt by i into 1 by 2 pi this is in hertz now for example if you consider kt which is the torsional stiffness torsional stiffness so it is nothing but the stiffness of the shaft in tor uh, in under torsion ok so here if I compare this with uh, an equation like F is equal to Kx for a spring mass system, if there is a spring and there is mass attached to it, then the re restore, restoring the force offered by the spring in order to avoid the elongation is uh, given by Kx. Similarly, if uh, you look at the torsional vibrations, if Kt is the torsional stiffness, uh, reproduce the same equation in case of torsion then f by x should be k so kt will be equal to what is force here it is torque and what is the displacement it is nothing but the angular displacement so it can be written as k can be written as t by angular displacement is theta so i can further write uh, kt as t by theta so before replacing that we can again look at the torsion equation we know that the torsion equation is T by J is equal to G theta by L. So what is T? It is a torque. J is the polar moment of inertia. G is the rigidity modulus of shaft. theta is the angular displacement and L is the length of the shaft. So T by J is equal to G theta by L. So if I write, if I rewrite this equation as T by theta, what will be on the right hand side of the equation? It is G J by L. So what is T by theta? It is nothing but K T, the torsional uh, stiffness of the shaft. 
so in place of kt in the above equation which we which uh, which is obtained here if i name this equation as 1 kt can be replaced as gj by l so i am rewriting the equation fn is equal to 1 by 2 pi under root kt is t by theta i will write it separately t by theta kt is written as t by theta and we, here we have denominator i and now t by theta is replaced as gj by l into i so this is the equation of natural frequency in radians per second for a free torsional vibrations if the shaft is a solid shaft then the polar moment of inertia of the solid shaft would be pi by 32 into d power 4 and for example if the shaft is a hollow shaft then j will be equal to pi into pi divided by 32 into d not power 4 minus di power 4 so what is d not it is the outer diameter and di is the inner diameter of the shaft furthermore if the mass moment of inertia of shaft also has to be considered let us assume that the mass moment of inertia of uh, shaft is indicated as is because in our derivation we have neglected the mass of uh, shaft and the mass moment of inertia of the shaft will be zero but if it is not the case then mass moment of the shaft also should be considered which is equal to is and it is equal to ms into ks square for ms is the mass of shaft and ks is the radius of gyration of the shaft you should not be con uh, confused with uh, the small k which can be used both for stiffness as well as radius of gyration so the mass moment of inertia formula will consists of radius of gyration ks or k so if uh, mass moment of uh, shaft is also considered then angular speed the natural angular speed would be equal to in the previous case it was kt by i but here it is i plus is by 3 or if you write the natural frequency then it would be 1 by 2 pi into kt by i plus is by 3 and is is ms into ks square thanks for watching if this video was of help to you please like it and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel